Alright, so, uh, I've discovered a new area of the Emerald Grove at the end of the last episode, so yeah. One day I'll catch it's also pretty close to that uh, Blade of Frontiers quest, it should be around, like, you know, if you look out, like, here-ish, somewhere. And we should be able to get out here also, from here. And that's also an entry to the Emerald Grove, I would say, if you're coming from that way. Debatable if it's secret or not, but yeah, it is. Oh! Oh, that's Kalek! I mean, we could probably... Oh, we can even jump from there. Okay. Even better. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, though. Let's check out what's going up here. Oh! I see something. The Risen Road. We got some gold, we got silk, gland, alchemical, okay, and a work bank. Okay. That Featherfall spell is so good. Jump pretty much everywhere and without any damage. It's really good. So how far? We? So uh, it's still a still a while to level four. But we can jump down here. Okay, that's the area then. I didn't really realize that uh, that was up there. Huh. You really have to check everything in this game. It's a good thing, but... Oh, that's also that Zoru guy. Um... Okay, let's save and get, um... Lacelle real quick. From the camp. I mean, we still have one short rest left. I'm not gonna do a, a long rest right now. But I'm gonna get her real quick. Okay, I hear a voice. Oh! Hey, the dude is there! That undead, uh, whatever. Withers. So he's in the camp now. He did say that we will meet again. Soon. I mean, that was pretty... Very soon. We meet again. As predicted. True. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Okay. Uh, not to be rude, but what are you? Uh, you were sorry in some other. Yeah, you were sorry in some. I hope that we get all the questions. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult. Of the absolute. Now oh, we hear that again. In its name, they bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Okay. Uh, will this hireling be joining me willingly? I mean, he said he will call them, so... Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. That old English is so, so cool. Um... Will his hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay. Impressive. Are there other ways you can help us? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Okay. Nice. That's incredible powerful magic. Why is it easy for you? 
Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. He's very vague. You mentioned the cost, but this is... A matter of coin. Okay. Yeah, that's outrageous. Nah. What if I don't have that kind of gold right now? Then I shall wait here patiently until <laughs> it is acquired. Okay. It's outrageous. Such is life. <laughs> Outrage leading to a singular end. Change the class? He didn't mention that one. <laughs> I can change, and it's even cheaper. That's something to consider. Not now, though. Not now, though. Withers. This strange wraith commands many powers. He allows you to resurrect allies, hire help, and change your class for a price. Of course. So yeah, change the class. That's, that's really cool. Um, it doesn't really matter who we take with us, but uh, I, I think I will replace uh, Shadowheart for a bit because she doesn't really like uh, Lazelle, and just for the time being, if we have to talk to that guy, maybe it's best that they are not together. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak, roughly Shalak. translated, idealist do-gooder, <laughs> or better yet, benevolent burden. Benevolent His confidence burden. is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure a crash is our only path? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Nonsense. Uh, that kind of whistles very well. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The plains are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Yeah, I'd like you to join me. You're full up. Dismiss someone first. Yep. Uh, take shit out. Well chosen. Yeah, she, <laughs> they don't really like each other. Oh, she can level up too. Yeah, she's still level one. Yeah, that's that's true. We didn't really play with her, right? It's a level two fighter. Okay, she gets action surge. Immediately gain an extra action to use this turn. Okay, that sounds not too bad. And another one. Subclass. Oh, she also has that jump. I wonder if it's also a ritual spell and maybe I can cast it on my on my guys. That would be nice. Battle Master. Champion, Eldritch Knight. Be aware of spell and sword. Okay, let's uh, go forward. Battle Master. As a paragon of tactical superiority, you employ a wide array of combat maneuvers to dominate every fight. You gain three passives. Okay, that's the maneuver thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Subclass features superiority dice. Four. The superiority dice are D8s. You have four. At fighter level 10, these dice become D10s. They fuel your battle master maneuvers and are expanded upon you. So you regain expanded superiority dice after short or long rest, so not that bad. Eldritch Knight, you are a warrior of spell and sword, weaving incantations that supplement your extensive martial expertise. So you get cantrips, you get spells, and you gain a spell. And, uh, yeah, you gain spell slots. Weapon Bond, ritually bind the weapon in your main hand. The weapon can't be knocked out of your hand and it automatically returns to you when thrown. So you can also use that as a ranged attack, I guess. 
champion. We approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctively effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. So I'm wondering if I go with um, with like a fighter mage. If she can buff everyone and the buff stays, I'm gonna I probably can try it. And now that I know that I can uh, change the class, I can even change that around if I want to. So that's really neat. Um, well, the countries were not that important, right? Um, <coughs> uh, Mage Hand and Bone Chill. And spells? Okay, so what can you do? Oh, she has an expanded. A magic missile is always nice. Uh, and she's, since she's also close range, I would say uh, Burning Hands is a good option. But that does more damage, though. I haven't used that in my character, so let's let's give her a chromatic orb. And we got an expanded one. Long strider. Increase the creature's movement speed. Okay. She would also have featherfall. We already got the leap. So let's try this. I wonder if that is also a ritual spell. It is. Oh no, it's jump. Okay, never mind. But she can cast it on anyone else, so that's good. And that one. Oh, it's a, it is a ritual spell. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Real quick, without stopping the camera, I'm gonna. Okay, that is a single. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can still cast it, right? Because we're moving out with her. Uh, and then we can do that long strider. So because it's ritual, it shouldn't... Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I really would like to know if there's a way that we can see which ones are um, ritual spells and which ones are not. That would be really nice. Actually, we can do that. Now we can do that, not later, because I need uh, Shadow Heart to buff her up. So, because then we will see if if the outside one also works. I mean, I don't know why it shouldn't, because uh, if you take that character with you, then it's the same as they would be in group, even though they are currently not. So. So can I target? Oh, I can't. I can't move with her. Well, let's get that. Um, let's get that done real quick, and I'm gonna test it out later when I have a Shadow Heart deck, I guess. I have a lot on my mind, and let's in it. go back out of the camp. Have a little safe here, and we're gonna talk with that. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Uh, uh yeah. I mean, she's a little bit aggressive. We need to yank her her leash, I guess, a little bit. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Stand down. Kichoki. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, she doesn't like it. But. 
Thanks. What do you want from me? Information. Where did you see the key ring? On the road to Baldur's Gate. See, and we got it back. Near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Huh. Yeah, okay, let's uh try to smooth it over. Yes. Your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. Well, it worked, didn't it? Oh, and she got something. She got something to say, probably to you. God, deliver me. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. Subordinate? Okay. <laughs> if you finish scrolling at me, what comes next? The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Tiefling. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. No, no, it's her room. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Right. So let's talk to the other guys. What they have to say. What do you need now? Okay. What's on your mind? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna give you anything. If I don't have to. Um, let's go back to camp. So we did buff uh, her. Let's see. Yes, she has the buff. Okay, I see it. She has the buff. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Train me. Your dance card is full. Lose a partner and there'll be room for me. Yep, let's help. Lead the way then. All right, so let's uh, bring everything in order again, and then we are moving back, I guess. So how is our money situation? We have a thousand, so... The thing is, now that I know that uh, we can change class, we can we could change things around should the need arise, right? So. Yes. Oh, I don't mind. I didn't want to do that. Moment. Turn around again. Bye bye. Nah. Just joking. Let's go. <laughs> so I don't think she has anything to say also, or almost pleasant travelling with company. If you ignore all the Less pleasant aspects. So, uh, we can finally go to that door. Need to find a way forward. Check what's going on there. Uh, if I go to the right <laughs> area. So, can we uh, all get? Up there, maybe? Because that would be way faster. I mean, she can. Can the rest. I guess they cannot. This is ridiculous. Something's on my mind. You're staring at me again. What do you want? No, no, don't, 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 don't. So, um... 
are they coming up? No, oh, they are. Oh, they're running through, I guess. Yeah, okay. Because it. Yeah, I'm stupid because I opened the door already. I am so stupid. Never mind. <laughs> we can just run through, right? Uh, so. There is that door. Have a little safe here. Underground passage. Okay. Oh, got some enemies there. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Oh. Hello. Maybe. Maybe. Ah. Have to keep going. Another one. Ooh, thank you for moving. So what's that? I think we're gonna go in turn-based mode now. So we could do a little ambush. So what happened there if I click that one? It's not glowing anymore. Okay. Don't wear his voice out. We still need answers. Well, um, I guess he can do that. I mean, if not he, who else? There we go. I mean, are we still hidden, though? We are, kind of. Now they see me. Questions, what are they doing? I mean, oh, who's that? Pindal. And a guardian statue. Oh, there is a red thing there still. So we got one, two, three, but nobody is seeing anybody, it seems. Let's see what they do. Uh, they, they probably will activate us, right? If they're dashing. Okay. Okay. Well then, uh... I mean, as long as they don't run into our viewing field, then... We are... Hidden still, I guess. Can we hide again? They won't know what bit them. That's so awesome! They don't know what hit them. They don't know what hit them. Um As long as I crit, at least. Okay, we got another 91. It's only seven health, so. Damn. We'll do it my way. With him being able to uh, hide as a bonus action, that's so helpful. Okay. Let's see. Still not looking in my direction, so seven. Seven is still doable. Come on. <laughs> Without a sweat. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Let's see what you're hiding. Okay, there's another of that rune thing. So if we on my way. Go up there. Slowly, guys, slowly. Slowly, but surely. Let's see. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll see. But it turned away again, so... I guess that's the, the button to... Uh, that's the don't touch me button. Um. So, how about I ungroup here? And I'll just jump over. I just need one guy, right? Or one girl, in that case. To activate that thing, right? Oh, there's also that human there. Great. So. I think jumping breaks. I think jumping breaks vision. So yeah, that 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 the red glow is gone now too here. Can I uh, group again and then I can loot? I guess. Are they coming down or? I heard something. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey guys. So we got a charred key, a potion of featherfall. Guardian statue. Oh, you can also attack. If not over, then through. Oh, that's oh. curious. Oh, I'll take it. Fire resistance. Lots of. Alchemy stuff. I'm still not sure if we are triggering something, so I think it's best to go back. Never wanted the easy path. Jump over there. Carefully now. So he okay, we are still sneaking. So. Oh. He's not dead. Um, well, I'm a paladin, so I don't do that. But I was trying to concentrate. Asterion, maybe. That's kind of pass. Actually, wait. Uh, does that also... No. It only activates if we are... Okay. If we are sneaking. The softest. Key of the Ancients. Nature plus one. The branches of the circlet are half fossilized, passed down through generations of druids. Fabricated during the founding of the grove, the wreath is forever linked to its land, the tiny rubies connected to its stones and structures, bidding them to do their bidding. Bidding them to do their bidding. So can I... S oh, I have to click. Roll target nine. Target nine. I don't know what that means, but he's pretty good. So. A little souvenir. Oh, oh. But I didn't get any anything that it uh, it's a bad reputation or something. So. Almost too easy. Hmm. I don't know how you do the. Um, Let's keep to the shadows. The level 9 roll, so... I, I don't know what happens there. I mean, you get 3? I'm rolling a d20. Does that mean that I don't get a 9 on, the, on that roll? Sorry. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna try again. But... Time look now. Quick and easy. Huh. It's interesting. I should be able to, to get a, a D20 with a 9 easily. Like a wraith. You're coming with me. Oh. So. I don't know what that means. The target is 9 and I rolled a 12 and that's why I get it? Or, or do I have to... I mean, I would have to roll a 9, right? So that means that I failed like four times with a 9. 
having like a bonus of like seven? Huh? Or maybe the bonus doesn't doesn't work. Still, nature plus one is not that not too bad. Who has the highest nature? Minus one. I'm ready. Zero. Let's have some fun. He has a plus one. Plus three for him. The question is though, do I use it on myself so that I have better rules because normally I'm uh, talking and stuff? I mean, that thing doesn't really do anything except for giving shape shift, which... I guess I can try what... what did I try... Yeah, well, did I try what Shapeshift does yet? I don't think so. So what does it do? Oh, I can disguise myself. Okay. okay. Well... I can always equip it, right? So... If I'll just... Uh, I have it still here, so... If I want that buff, I can I can buff myself anytime, I guess, so... While I have nothing better, I'll just give me a buff, right? Okay, doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Waste a step. Check out the area real quick. I wonder if I can revive that guy. Also, I'm gonna try what that uh, non-lethal attacks are doing. I'll activate it. Okay, so it activates for everyone. Until long rest. Non-lethal damage does not kill creatures if it reduces their hit points to zero. It just leaves them unconscious. Sure, why not? Oh, there's a heavy chest there. I mean, we, we just found a key. I'm just trying. I think that may maybe that's why you can't. Watch how you go. There's a oh. trap. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, maybe that's why you can't open a chest right away with the with the um, with the dice roll because there's an op there's maybe an option that you have to use a key if you click on it automatically before that. So really? I can imagine that that could be the case. Let's disarm it. Yeah, I mean, we got some beefy power there. And critical, okay. Okay, it was the key. That's also a neat feature that if someone else in your group has the key, the person that is opening uh, takes that key automatically. That's really good. Otherwise, yeah, it's like chaos where you have to, to search stuff. So we got Nature Snare, Fly Trap, chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or a beast. Okay. He can take that. Uh, I already have a good staff for him. I mean, it's a little bit more damage, yes, but... I uh, shouldn't have bought it then, right? And he has minus one on that. Yeah, he's not using it anyway, most of the time, so. Or normally. Except for opportunity attacks. Oh, relationship is fair. That's new. Yeah, he's really he's really in a bad spot. Oh, let's get this over with. I don't know how to um to, make to mend this situation, let's say it that way. Don't mind if I do. Oh no, I, I don't want. <laughs> don't want to steal. Don't mind my step. Ooh. Okay, let's let's explore real quick up here because if I don't find anything, then there is no use to to hide anymore, and we can be a little bit quicker. 
Yeah, I, I think, I think we're good. Moving in. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's head back there. Uh, we got some oil there. So we got some wooden barrels there. Oh, these tools. Oh, nice stuff there. Thing to gain advantage on concentration saves and against being charmed. Magic can't put it to sleep. Replaces effects from other elixirs. So can I? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Ah. So I don't have to drag it over the the, uh, the, the picture there. Nice. Yeah. Sterion. Now we're gonna send that to Gale. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Let's loot those guys and then we'll have a look at that guy there. Where's bottle is just one gold, I'm not gonna use that. Can't reach this. What? 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 Really have to jump? Okay. What? Wait, X. I always forget to coat my weapon before a fight. That would have been uh, a Great opportunity to, to use that before the start of the fight. So uh, let's save real quick and can we, what can we do? Well, let's, maybe we can. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Okay. Um. I mean, sure, we could use a spell, but I don't really want to use a spell if possible. Can I throw that on him? Oh, on him. That was a 100. That's a 100%. Okay. Ah! Hello! Okay, oh, healing thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. He didn't say anything about me stealing him because... So that's good. How did this goblin slip into the grove? Was no one looking for you? I'm surprised the goblins didn't cut you on sight. Why didn't they? True. They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them the only weapons here are the ones the foul bloods brought. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Oh, we got. Yeah, we got. Oh, that guy's fast. Okay. I think that was a, was a scripted escape because. No way he is that fast. <laughs> it has also something here. So we found that. We found that. Do we have a quest for that? We learned the Gianca patrol in the west. Okay. And we spoke to Zoro. We should travel there with Lysel. Travel where? Okay. Alright. Uh, let's have a look here. And there's also another exit over there. Check it out. Oh. Trap. Oh. Oh. Cautious. Okay. Trap. 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 Oh, that's a secret entrance to the grove. Ah. Okay. Let's hide. 
and save because I really want to try if that opens up. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. I mean, I know what's up what's there. But... Huh. Well, good to know. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Yeah, I guess. Oh. Poison? How? Why? So we... I don't know why I got poisoned there. Very well. Um... So let's jump over there if we can. That would be way faster. If possible, please. Thank you. Oh, or run over it. Yeah. And then we have another door here. Investigate the beach. I mean, we did that. That, that must be a bug. I am enjoying our walks tracks. together. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, legged goblins, oh. I'd say. Okay. So we are out here. Anything of use? I'm gonna go back in because why not? Oh, okay. So that's actually an entrance to the grove if you're not fighting up front, I guess. You can sneak in from there, maybe. Okay. Actually, how about... How about... How about we do... She promised us to drive and it, uh, if we break her out, so there are no druids in here. It leads out and we are coming out right where she is, so nobody sees us if we do that. That could work actually. If it's that easy. Uh, I mean, we still have to uh, get her out of that cage. But, uh, I mean, so it's no longer showing uh, red here. Okay, that's really hard on <laughs> to take or not. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna close the door so nobody can see in. I'm gonna buy the eggs of your kids and your birdies and your dogs. And then gonna hide. Oh. I saw any luck opening this cage? Uh, patient. We already did that, right? So I'll get you. I've been patient. So hurry up, yeah? Okay, so we, we can't really hide. Well, maybe he can. Let's How much farther can I go? Put everyone here, uh, ungroup him. Because his stealth is a little bit high. Oh, no, man. Come on. His stealth is a little bit Keep higher. Close. Same. Just like old time. Time for this. Ha! Now it works. I mean, ten should be doable, right? Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did, but let's we're do it again. burning her name across the face of the yeah, world. I the absolute is gold from yep. the sky. She is happily lead the way. 
I mean, it's not really, uh, let's say, paladin-like, but uh, we didn't open the door, so it was hysterion. So it shouldn't affect our oath with On my way. Uh, what we just did. <laughs> Question is, can she jump also? I, I could probably buff her, but she made it. We broke Zaza out, now for the hard work. Okay, I mean, if it is really as easy as I think it is, then it's easy to do that. Uh, I don't know if she can jump that high. Or if she gets the bonus that we get, I mean, we're gonna test if she can jump that high. Right? Or maybe you can just run up there anyway. That could also be. Not gonna go through that other door because that could probably be not as good. I wonder how far we have to go with her, but. So far, we should be outside, and maybe there's like a mark. I was never gonna get out of there. Never mind. Good to be free again, gotta say. We talked about this, right? You made a promise, remember? No one deserves to be locked up like that. I'll. <laughs> we talked about the priestess, right? But maybe she, she tells us more. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at the camp. Okay. So that should be a nice. We got off the grove in one piece. Uh, Zaza told us to meet at the goblin camp. So where is the goblin camp? Ah, I guess here's the goblin camp. So. It still says that we have to find Mole. Maybe I have to wait for a long rest or something, because we talked to her and, and it didn't really matter. It didn't do anything. So let's wait, probably. Oh, the, eh, it's a grease pot. I thought it was a normal pot. Yeah, we can do that. I never used those things, so... Okay. Oh, the map is so big. Uh, oh, that's the Kaga quest. So, that one we can delete. We just found that out. And yeah, that's also a little bit problematic. Oh, yeah, we wanted to, to get Kalek. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we can do that. Yeah, let's let's get Kalek. Or maybe check what's up there real quick. And then we get a Kalek. close to the crash site, so it's good to maybe activate that thing too. Uh, I think we're missing some- ah, damn it. Where is he? Oh! Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, can we pour it out though? Like here? Okay. So if we group up here, oh, it doesn't work. Too far away, probably. Um, yeah. It's, uh, Quick step. Yep. Yeah. And please don't activate any encounters because that would be really, really bad. Oh, wrong direction. I think we have to go here.
Uh, I'm gonna activate her first and then do group. He should be close enough to... Yeah, he's coming. Or is he? No, he's not. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, and everyone is... Ah, uh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. You can do it. <sighs> I'm thinking what is the fastest way to get back to to here from there. I'll take that. We're running a little bit too far already. So I thought it would be just a plateau or something. So we got a... Hello? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. He's like a wizard or something because he just popped in. Very suspicious. Uh, but let's keep it friendly. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Okay. Come. Okay, yeah. Hello. There. Middle of somewhere. Nice decor. Take me back now, reach for your weapon. I mean, he didn't attack us yet, so... Yeah, can I be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Okay, that's a threat. Ignore him and fill your plate. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Okay. Now, now we have a fight. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Eh. Uh, I mean, we beat one of those guys. I mean, with the help of a mind flayer, but still. I don't care what you are, I care what you want. Why would you help me? What makes you think I need saving? Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? Okay, he knows. 
one skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Okay, yeah, he is a little bit sure of himself. Paladin is seven old, not a devil. My honor is not for sale. Right, we have to go Paladin, right? I, I don't really know what, what the other options are, but... What the heck, man? Yeah, I seven old, not a devil. My honor is not for sale. <laughs> Everything is for sale. And you do well to sell while your stock has value. In desperate times, the price of honor plummets. Perhaps you haven't yet realized how desperate these times are. You will. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Yeah. Hmm. Probably take this one. I'll have to laugh, love. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay, I have a feeling we will see that guy again. If we want it or not. Uh... Ooh. What's in there? Lush. Burgundy. Mind if I take that? So that's the top of the. Come, jump. And you also get that. Uh, it's not a piano. It's an. I don't know the English word for it. In German, it's orgel. Like in like in a church. Can't try to get the, the name for an English one. That's curious. Indeed it is. I'm gonna say it first. Oh pouch, spider egg, second gold. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chittinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Oh, well, we have nature. But I, I mean, I guess uh, Shadowheart would be better, right? But I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we get that one. Cool. Oh, that's a failure, right? That's bad. I mean, we got. For inspiration, let's use one. Okay. It's fine. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Great. I mean, we got animal handling, right? I mean, we got the prophecy for it, but it seems like it's not that we are talking. It's the skill. So, still. We speak softly to the spiders in hopes of calming them. We are not lol, loth draw, so maybe if you would be a loth draw, you would have a special option like for the spiders to, to come to you or move away or something. I'll take that. Your voice draws their attention. They are suspicious. 
then curious, and finally, at peace. One by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. Boldly. Boldly go where no one has come before. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. There we go. Got it. Oh, there's also a silver pennant. Guidance. Oh, it also mentions Gale can absorb his magic item, destroying it. Okay. I mean, we don't really need guidance, right? Because. Necklace has a harper sigil. Oh. Why were okay. they here? Okay, I might not give it to Gale after all. Moon and harp, okay. But still, I mean. I don't really need that item because I have it from Shadowheart. Or that buff, let's say. Okay, I think it's finally time to go back to the grove. That was uh, way more than expected outside here. All right, and I really want to meet Kalek. Let's see how that goes. So I still think the fastest way is through the tunnels, right? And return to Sevlor. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Bloody hells. Literally. <laughs> Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Use your shared connection and read your thoughts. I don't know if she likes that. But I guess I can. Ten is doable. Famous last word. But with a crit twenty it's no problem. Anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. <laughs> Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. Glad I made the right decision then. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt <laughs> is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Okay. So, now that we know that they are talking about that, let's talk to Esther. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. Mm. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. I mean, not that we have done that much yet. It's not we still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. <laughs> He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. 
and someone that like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Uh, we're not display things. We'll show him that. Maybe. Oh! But he's not the Finally. only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. The details in the faces? They surprise me every time. You even see the, the, the wrinkles move in the eyes when the, when they are when they are changing like posture and stuff. Well done, really well done. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> oh. Uh you familiar with the old return? I've never met a oh, devil, failed, yeah. but of course I've read a great deal about them. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm. To spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. I didn't. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. But what is it that still wants so very badly? Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. <laughs> Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Oh. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. And what do you think his ambition could be? I'm in the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it along with our tadpoles. So, we're safe for now. We wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Okay. Well, glad I talked to those guys. Let's move on. Like the third or fourth time I'm running through those tunnels. Come on. Chop, chop. At least they're putting right in, that's good. So... It says that we should talk to... Sevlor too. Might as well do that then. Hey, the, the goblin just uh, escaped. Hello. Goblin escaped. Goblin escaped. No one. So. There's also the chest. There. So I was actually wondering what happens if I play the loot. While I'm here, let's just do that. If we perform, let's do 
sing for me or divinity and sin power power performance failed okay So the people are coming if you do that. Okay. Could also be a... Wait. Wait. I have an idea. But I have to save before I do that. What if... I play this song... In here, like here, she's coming then, and I can loot. How delicious! Over there. So that's an interesting stop me yet. thought. Let's play the Queen's High Seas. Here she goes. So do I still play? Careful, I might. Yes, okay. Let's prowl. I'm gonna save. It worked! I mean, it broke, I guess. Oh. Okay. No one back home will I got a pity, pity gold, I guess. But that worked! That worked! Okay, we got a new way to distract people. Nice. Still breathing, despite So what everything. did we get? Someone there. Hmm? Oh, what? What are you doing? Where are you going? So we got a... a no, the key that we got before. Didn't he loot? Didn't he loot? No, he did loot. Okay. Was it that key? No. Was Let's it? Move. That's from the spiders, right? Yeah. What's that? Spider egg sack. But well, hello. I guess he got everything out. Must have been that one. Anyway, we're still not at Carlek. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's as my feet can carry me. It just was like I saw that people coming in and turning around me, and I was like. Eh. Maybe that works. So it says that we should talk to... Talk to Sevlor. And we can go up there then again and get out there. Seems like a good moment to talk. Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road. Goblins or no. What is it? Okay. It, it, okay. It's not what I thought that it would trigger. I thought it would trigger maybe that we say, hey, uh, we have a way into the goblins and stuff like that. Okay. So, finally, we can try and jump like here-ish, or we move over there and just jump down there. 
Maybe we, maybe I do that because um, I can also explore the area a little bit doing that way. Okay, they are not... No, I'm, I'm gonna... No. I'm gonna go... Here. I really want to get to Kalek now, so... I'm gonna make a... Marker here, like... People. I don't want to get distracted all the time. Very much. Okay, camp supplies. Camp. I mean, I could also grab them right away and just uh, get them later uh, to the camp when I'm full. Okay, there's a wolf there. And a possible guy to maybe use. Um, speak with that on. More for me. Hunter stash. What's up? He probably killed that one. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Oh, perception. Paladin persuasion. Calm yourself. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go paladin. Calm yourself. I harm only those deserving of it. Oh, we got a double. Glad we got a double. Mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. Oh, he, needs okay. rest. he didn't kill it then, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. Ah, uh, what's your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Okay. What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Ooh. Nature. Knolls. Knolls. Yeah, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. Okay. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, Ooh. I may. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know how that one reacts. So it was his friend or master or whatever. Uh. Grab that real quick before I forget. Charming little eggs. So I'm gonna save real quick here and uh, try to use my speak with the dead. I hope it doesn't anger the dog. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Cool. That's su such a cool animation. Uh, I mean, we already know what happened to him. We talked to the dog. Yeah, he said the gnolls killed him. Why were you in the forest, though? Let this delivery to Baldur's Gate. Where did you keep the letters? In 
bank. Standard. Issue. That's that second question. Uh, where are you from? From Trail. Officially, we don't know who who it is, so we can ask it. Gumwick. Uh, he's probably a deliverer or something like that. That's the last question. Runner. Yeah. Fleetfoot. Courier company. Yeah. Okay. Courier company. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I mean, it doesn't show red, so... Let's remove all those. Dog is okay with it, then I'm okay with it. Uh, let's read. Nine fingers, I won't come back to the city not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you will have to trust me and collect yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me, I know when I'm safe. Yes. I think I'm gonna keep that because it says something about where we can go. I mean, it's not orange, bordered, but Devon, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see. Okay, that one, for example, I would mark as where's Gumwick. Be doubly careful on the way back to Bellusgate. I've received more reports of attacking on travelers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself better. Late than never. Well, well, well. Put that in All right. So Kalak should be. Oh, Kalak should be around here-ish. There are so many ways to go, but this time I stay true. Oh, there's a key and it's orange. A key. Wonder what it opens. Me too. Okay. Let's grab this and then I'm gonna save real quick. Talk to Kalek. One horn. This is the devil Will has been tasked to kill. Natural friends prepared to fight, she looks dangerous. I don't ask the flames. Are you right? Me! <sighs> Never been better. Well, She's me. a big one. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so called paladins of Tear did. I'm a paladin. Yeah, I don't remember you. I mean, I don't remember all of those guys that said that they were on the ship, so... Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat oh, she said through you. Paladins. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies, as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. 
You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? It's a tadpole. Fuck's sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. I like her. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are? I'm Ambrosia. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you <sighs> feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Okay, Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? Uh, sure, I guess. So you to kill people hunting you. Why should I do it, Oderberg? I have my own problems. Let's send them back where they came from. They po they're posing as paladins, so... So they are demons, actually. Fuck yes. <laughs> they cornered me outside the toll house, just up the hill. Ah, Don't they've gone the far key. after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? She's, uh, perhaps a little rough around the edges. <laughs> but I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> uh. Yeah, sounds good. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. No room in your party. What should I do? Uh. Yeah, let's go to the camp. I'm gonna go to the camp too, and then we'll have a talk. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Okay. So, yeah, let's go to. Oh. Some updates. Later from Cheers. Kalka's joined the party, though Will hasn't confronted her as of yet. This uneasy peace can't last forever. Our fiery friend. We recruit the Kalka that we defeat the paladins. Hunt the devil. Confront the paladins. Okay. Okay. So. Oh! That changed. It was right before. Diluted oil of sharpness. Then we have oil of accuracy. Plus two bonus attack. Poison and an arrow you can there. Oh I can send it also. Oh nice. Poison. So Let's have it a quick save here. And then we're gonna go to camp. And probably have a little talk. Soldier. Oh yeah, cool. And there's Will <laughs> right over there. So how did they end up fighting in a blood war? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Okay. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. 
demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, This isn't where I thought to end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Uh, I've been in the middle of another adventure. <laughs> I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. <laughs> Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. I mean, she had more options. What can I right? do you for? Uh, what do you know about the city of Eltrell falling into Avernus? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. Okay. Uh, about those paladins you want us to control. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. I figured as much. of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. All right. Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Uh, I think I'm gonna change out Gale for a bit. Let's hop. Yeah, she's a she's a barbarian or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to know what happens if I have her in group and talk to Will. Because I think I haven't talked to Will. Also. What's the story? Let's level her up. I mean, she looks cool with all the fire spreading out and stuff. So not much going on there, the ancient sense. It's like a spider sense, right? <coughs> Reckless attack until your next turn. You have advantage on attack rolls, but enemies also have advantage against you. So, two-sided sword, I guess. Or two-edged sword. Okay. So we got specialization available, wild heart. And we got some spells. Okay, that's not a spell from the spell list. That's good. Nice. Once probably, but still good. Then we got more subclasses. So Wild Heart. You are attuned with nature and its beast inspires your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. Gained passive bestial heart spells. Okay, she has the spells too. I mean talking to animal spells. Berserker, violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrampled fury. Slick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle. Heatless of your own well-being. Your rage turns into frenzy. You can French strike and rage draw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. In resistance to physical damage, that sounds pretty good. An advantage and strength checks and saves. 10 turns. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. You can't cast or concentrate on spells while raging. Frenzied strike. As a bonus action, make a melee attack with your equipped weapon. Okay. Will cause a stack of frenzied strain on the barbarian. What is a. 
what is my... I think that's the button, yeah. Frenzied Strain. Using Frenzied Strain adds a penalty to attack rolls every time. Stacking so that you miss more of this adds up until the end of a frenzy. Enraged throw. Pick up an item or creature, throw it at the target, dealing additional damage. Well, you would have to have an item to do that, right? Wild magic. The wild influence of magic has transformed you, suffusing you with an arcane power that churns with you, waiting to be released. And to rage to release all the magic roiling inside of you, causing a random magic. Random. In resistance to physical damage and wound check. So that's the same kind of like this. With bonus. Anyone within range adds their proficiency bonus to saving throws against spells. Only one turn. Eh. So what's the bestial heart? Choose your bestial heart. You can change your bestial heart whenever you level up, okay? Bear heart. While raging, you can use unrelenting frost and have resistance to all damage except physical damage. Uh, psychic damage, I'm sorry. So that's already stronger than the one before where you only have like physic damage resistance. While raging, you can use diving strike. Foes also have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you and you can use dash as a bonus. That sounds nice. L card. While reaching, you can use Primal Stampede and your movement speed increases. Okay. Tiger Heart. While reaching, you can use Tiger's Bloodlust and your jump distance increases to... Okay, jump distance is not really that important because we can jump pretty far with the buff. Wolf Heart. While reaching, you can use Inciting Howl and your allies have advantage on melee attack rolls against enemies within 2 meters of you. That sounds interesting. One turn. Okay, so that's the tiger heart. Oh, so she have you have more things too. Charge forward. Okay. Eagle heart. Leap down until you're knocking them prone. You won't take falling damage. You must be above your target. Okay. And bear heart. Healing. Having a healing spell is not that bad. A tiger sounds cool. Because they bleed. But I think I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with, with, the, with the wild heart and I think I'm gonna go with bear. Because I have healing there. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any piercings. Gonna test it out, and we have Withers or whatever his, his name is. Yeah, Withers. Uh, that can reset the, the class, so it's fine. Uh, okay. So, gonna save. Because <laughs> now I'm gonna That's talk right. to Will. Oh, uh, no. Better talk. Yeah, it is. We must rest in camp. It's time she had her due. We must rest in camp, okay. <laughs> the Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Oh, we can talk about that. He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with... A hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. See, that's the what I mean. Dearest fruit, Look at the dearest fruit, naturally, eyes. was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Those details are really making a game, at least for me. 
you know, when they are talking, and he's squinting, then you see the wrinkles in the eye. That's. <laughs> That's really something. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. Uh, I mean, we can, it, we, we can hear him out, but we don't have to take his deal. Take a single step towards okay. him. And he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Okay. He didn't like that one. Um, I've noticed the stone eye. How does the blade frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the archdevil Zariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. So they weren't captured by the Mind Flayers, they just ran in, it seems. Yeah, who is this source? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Move to other matters. All right. What else is on your mind? Uh, how did you become the Blade? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. Uh, well, that could be fine on saving a life. You must have felt about Proud. No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised the only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama, <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna let him join us just to uh, so I see his class and his, his level stuff because I haven't done that, I forgot about that. When we met, when we when we sent him back to camp, like way before. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Okay. Uh. By all means. Okay, so I'd we're gonna replace to him, him, or I don't think there's enough space put him for in for Kalak, just for a sec here. Ready and willing, and then we see what he can do. He's a oh, warlock, isn't he? So he's got spells. X. Take your text to additional. I mean, I don't, I don't plan to go with him if I don't have to. So I guess I'll just give him hex. 
Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical powers. Agonizing Blast. When you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier. Okay, to the damage. Unless it's negative. Armor of Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself at will without spending a spell slot. Beast speech. Okay, that I don't need. You know your patterns bewitching charm and gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. Well, he's not a main character or not my main character, so I guess that's also not useful. Except you could cast it, but it says you invoke. You gain, not someone else. You can see normally in darkness. Okay, it doesn't matter. I can see that too. You can cast false life on yourself at will as a level 1 spell without expanding a spell slot. That sounds interesting. And I can select two. Okay. Mask of many faces. You can cast disguise self at will. Okay, I can also disguise self with... And I can even trade it, I guess. Uh, that two other characters, that uh, helm that I have from that DLC. Mask of many faces, yeah. One with the shadows, you learn how to cast one with shadows. Okay, I have to check what that does. Vanish into the darkness and become invisible as long as you stand still. Invisible Invisibility ends early if you move, attack, cast another spell, take an action or take damage. That could maybe come in handy. Repelling blast when you hit a creature, otherwise you can push the creature up to you, away from you. Thief of Five Fates. Once per longest, you can cast Bane using a spell slot. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with either that one. Uh, maybe that one. Because it's free, right? Yes. Oh no, it's a level 1 spell slot. Without spending, okay, I can do that without spending, that's good. And probably one with shadows. To be invisible. Uh, what does that do? Oh, I gain hit points. And you can only have one... Oh, okay, never mind then. Uh, we can... Oh, I didn't take it. Okay, yeah. I had it selected, but I, I didn't take it. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it that way. He doesn't really get buffs, I think. I got gained a boon. Class features. Oh, we do get a spell. Um, oh, he gets invisibility. <laughs> okay. Um, mirror image. Yeah. I'm, I'm. Let's take a lot of damage. Pact of the Chain, Pact of the Blade, Pact of the Doom, Pact of the Chain. In the service of a familiar, a face spirit that takes a form of your choosing. This can be an animal, imp, or quasit. Summon a pack weapon or bind one that you are willing, making it magical. Pack of foam. The patron grants you a grimoire called the Book of Shadows, which allows you to cast Guidance, Wish, Mockery, and Thorn with this form. Ah, pulls the creature. Wish, Mockery, Guidance. I mean, I have Guidance, so. I think we're gonna go Pack of the Chain. Ooh, so he is a summoner then. Permanent, okay. Right. I don't think I need to replace spells. It's an action, permanent, okay. Nice. Okay. So he doesn't really have buffs that he can give out, which is a shame, but...
Find familiar. So how many... So that's a spell slot that he has to take, or... Didn't he have, like, uh, an option to call? Oh, huh, okay. I thought that he, he could call a... Uh, Or would, would I have to select it? Oh, maybe I've selected the wrong one and I would have to click on one? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, you have to click on familiar and then you can do it. Okay. It's a ritual spell. Okay, that's good. I mean, I'm sure, why not? Test it out, right? Nice. Conjured imp. Alright, okay. what now? Yeah, what now? Okay. Uh, let's do... Five can I do... Okay, I guess I cannot unsummon that one. Or can I? Invisibility... Sting. Okay. Well, I guess you can Look keep ahead. that one if you want. Light on my feet. Because I'm gonna go and get Kalek again. Soldier. You know I'm up for it, but your party's a little full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can change that. Excellent. Let's go. So. We still have that sword. Can she carry... I mean, she can carry a great weapon there. Like a great axe. Can she also carry that one? Yes. She's proficient with that. I mean, it fits her... It really fits her, like, flames and stuff. Nice. Nice. Uh, then... Is that blood? No, never mind. You could also have probably that one if you want. Let's march. I mean, I like the setup that she has here. Don't get me wrong. Okay, that's maybe a bit too much, but the problem is... Uh, yeah. As, hmm. It's clothing. What, what can she... What can she wear? So her athletic is five, that's good. She even has sleight of hand and stealth. Animal handling, perception is good, survival is good. Intimidation, okay, that doesn't really matter much. But okay, we, uh, what, what's her? Outlander. Size medium? Well, I would say she's big. 90 kilos. So arm, she can wear medium armor. Okay, that's good to know. What to do? Sword by type, real quick. Uh, we don't really have medium armor with us, do we? Except for that one. Um, maybe I'll pour to the grove again, and, and I'm pretty sure there was a, a medium armor there to give her, because no armor is bad armor. Still alive, so that's progress. Uh, I mean, we can give her a necklace, so she has one, I guess. Making me sweat. Okay, I mean... It's not too bad, but... I'll keep it like like she looks that way. Don't. Um... Okay, she has a light crossbow equipped, that's good. Okay, um, let's go back. 
I don't need a long rest any I mean we'll set something about we will talk about it when Problem is, yeah, we can go back there real quick. The thing is, I, really made it out of I have to give her the buffs, All right? right? Just keep it down. Ha! Oh, I forgot to buff myself here. So. We got the jump, but the feather fall I think was a Is that blood? was a buff from me, wasn't it? Whatever comes. Oh, it was Gale! Damn it! Man, those paladins I need to stomp are that away. Yes, oh, yes, okay. yes. Please. Uh. No Damn. one back home will ever believe this. I need a moment for the two of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need to switch out... What's on your mind? Kalek, I guess. Oh! Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Back in the thick... And then... Quite ready for you. Very we're well. gonna move here. And... Cast it. Nice. That should do the trick. Still breathing, despite everything. Moving and ahead. Then we're switching back again. I have something to ask. Hey, soldier. Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. And then now we should be ready. I hope. Oh! Okay, give me a sec, Kalek. I have to buff you. Then we can talk. Uh, so the the bless went out, it seems. So um, let's do bless on you, you, and you. Great. Anything else that you miss now? You have Feather Fall, you have the jump. I don't have Long Strider with her, but Long Strider isn't really that important, I would say. Trust no one. The leap is more important than Feather Fall, definitely. Still alive, so that's progress. Let's talk to her. Hey, we're still going after those paladins, right? Can't leave Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. Yeah, yeah, we go after them. Good news. Can't wait to see him finished. Okay, let's let's do that because she's always asking for that. Breathe deep and move. We've met her like 15 minutes ago and she asked us like three times to do that, so. Oh, there's a dead soul collector that we can also talk to. Kinda. <laughs> That animation looks so cool with the green eyes. Uh, where were you heading? Anywhere away, safety. I mean, we found a key, but I will. How did you know? To escape broken. Yeah. You have levels. Gold basement locked. We have a key. We found a key. So that was question number three, I think. We found that one already. But Let's talk. 
Toll Collector. Okay, it's the last question anyway, okay. I fell. Dropped key. And we found it already. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Don't mind if I do. So, how does it look like? Um, let's go. So the door is open, which means we don't really have to use the key, I guess. It's really not looking very nice. Careful. Yeah. Travel last guy to do. Sure. Ola and Charles nearing Baldur's Gate have been known to smell the city before they clap eyes on it. This is thanks to what is known as the outer city, the area that houses much of what Baldur's Gate needs to survive and thrive, but at the same time would rather not keep within its walls. Tanneries, stockyards, slaughterhouses, salt works, and less than regulated markets abound here, as well shanties and camps for the less fortunate souls who are drawn to the city. It is the author's firm opinion that respectable travelers should never dawdle in such a place, no matter how tempting its base attractions may be after a long journey. Instead, they should make way promptly while paying strict attention to any valuables on their persons or in their baggage, then see about presenting themselves to one of the main entrances to the lower city, such as the famed Basilisk Gate. Once entry has been secured, they can consider themselves in the city proper. What's hiding here? Okay, I don't really want to to start another fight or a fight with Knowles, let's say that I don't want to start on a fight before I go to find those paladins, that's what I mean. Um Uh, okay, let's head back there and gonna check around real quick and then we'll see what's going on there. Okay, we got also an auto save here. So that is used for crafting. I mean, alchemy. That could be a... Yes. Oh, wait. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage. Hmm. What's that? All right, Ed, what an interesting find. Air of fire. Okay, I guess we can't go. All right. Maybe I need more pockets. Maybe you do. Uh, there's a lot of blood up there. Not gonna go up there right now. I'm gonna check just the surroundings of the of the house. God. Pile of bones. There are. Sixteen is fine. Oh, something over there. Okay. I'm way too big. Oh. 
Um. What am I to do? Can we do anything about that? Watch your back. Can the mage hand do that? Try, right? Uh, I guess we go into base mode because it's only there for like a short time. Can you go in there? We can. We came out here somewhere. Oh, okay. So can we... Ah, uh, Hmm. I mean... Wow, okay. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's like exploring without doing anything. How long is that still available though? So we have opened up something there. I don't really want to... Uh, So there's, there is an option to go there, and we just opened that stuff, so... I guess we can just, uh... Take a way out? Oh, no, no. Where, where did that, that hand come in? I think I'm gonna end it. So we know that we can... We can probably enter there. Uh, At the ready. So we don't have that key anymore. Just saying. And we open a door. Well, I guess we go in. And talk to these people. What's up for discussion? Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know <laughs> what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Ooh. <sighs> Insight? Assess his posture's eyes? Is he telling the truth? We got a lot of insight, so... Okay. Never mind. I mean, not insight, I mean, uh... You know, that... The bonus points. The re-roll points. Inspiration. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Uh, enough of the charade or know who you really are? Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. Yeah. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Hey. Outmatched. You can always flee a fight. 
You can always flee a fight you would rather avoid. Move away from your enemies to unlock the option. Ouch. Okay. Level 4. Level 5. Okay, they are definitely higher level, yeah. Should have an opportunity though. But that guy is the stronger one, I think. Well, not much, but. You could probably use an arrow vice. But first, we have to hide. Time for a new. Here at least. So. Cut a purse, then a throat. Yeah, that works. Okay. Do we do a? <sighs> the only thing is, she will have a problem then, I guess. But it's worth a try. Wow. That was quite a damage. Now this is my happy place. Ha. Huh. Okay. So let's test out her bare heart. Oh, she only has a an a finite am amount of usage. So. 91. Okay. Watch this. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that guy is knocked out because we have that thing active. That skill. Wow. Did you see that? Wow. I don't know if it counts as that, but if I go here, maybe it will. Maybe I will be out of sight or not touchable or whatever. Not visible. Ouch. I have a feeling we need at least a short rest of this one. The question though is, how do I get there? Because I can't reach... Can I go up there and jump over or is that... Yes, we can. Oh, it says cartridge. Okay. Oh, no, I can. I can. Because that gives me... Uh, damn it. Uh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, we can't reach. Damn it. Let's stay here. Maybe we can go at least here. So if we're lucky and they come out, we get a, a reaction. Where do I go from here? I still got two of those smites. We got a 95 and it's not triggering, so. Question is, can I use that one and still be able to do that? I'm gonna test it out.
I think it worked, right? Yeah, poison. Yeah. Let's go. You've made a grave mistake. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So if the, yeah, if she's running, ah, uh, come on. Might be able to do. Th and she's close by, right? So if he is going like this, yes, here. He should be able to see her, right? Yes, nice. Whew. Okay, she's not knocked down. Why? Oh, melee weapon. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. Forgot about that. My bad. Uh, Leave no trace. My bad. Gods, it's hot in here. Hey, right, she has a lot of health, so. I've got it. So that thing also counts. Yeah, I must attack an enemy. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, I hit. No oh, mind. Got to concentrate. Um. It's for short rest, so that's good, so we can use... Oh, yeah, that's... Wow. Her aim is really... or her percentage is really bad. I mean, I get one hit anyway. And that was the highest one, I think. Ah, let's do that one. Art stopper. Concentration broken. Nice. Even catch my breath. I still have one of those. Seventy percent is not that much, but if I miss, uh, it doesn't really. May the gods take you Doesn't first. activate, right? I still have it. Yes, cool. I really like that one. Um. I think we can still survive. Ah. Okay. Asterion. Yeah. Finisher. Well. Close enough. That's also short rest, but ah, I can't make it. I got Too bad. This. Uh, no, I'm gonna go in with that raging attack. Wow. Cool. Fuck them. Fuck Salariel. Lot of F words. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Uh, get me. Can I all make sure of that? That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> okay. Oh. What are you doing? Hello? Oh, she has a... Unbridled. What the hell is going on? Okay, uh, yeah, please, uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. Do we have that every time we after fight or? What the frick is going on? Oh my god, I'm burning. What the hell? You good? What the hell? I mean, at least the flames are gone. Damn. Okay, yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, I'm gonna do a short rest. Feel that one later. What the frick? Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'll also probably end the episode after I've talked with her. And then we continue. And in the next one, there's also one guy that we can uh, talk about. There's also... Yeah, there's also a wooden hatch. That could be maybe the, um, the thing to go, you know, down. Possibly. Uh, based on the location, I would say so. So let's talk to her real quick. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. Yeah. I like the limit. Does it always last that long? Nope. Not sure how good it is for the gears either. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. <laughs> How else did you get an infernal engine? High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Ah. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things. If I can find him. Oh! wonder if they meant Daemon, a tiefling weaponsmith. So that's the one in the grove. A weaponsmith, huh? Oh. Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. I completely forgot that I wanted to go to the Emerald Grove and get her armor. Well. Now we have to go there anyway for a quest, so. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, we're gonna loot those uh, characters later. Oh, oh, oh so coin. Okay. I'm gonna loot those characters later, like I said, and. Um, Basically, in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as always. Uh, leave a comment if you want. And I hope we'll see you at the next one. Until then, have fun and bye bye.